Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today we're going to do what's make what's called Buddha bowls. Basically a Buddha bowl is anything that has a whole grain in it, it has vegetables in it, meat or legumes in it, and then a sauce that goes over the top and you put it in this bowl and serve it all together. So today we're going to do like a sweet potato chicken um, Buddha bowl, but there are lots of different um, Buddha bowls out there. So anyway, we're going to start out by we're using sweet potatoes today. Like I said, I'm going to take the sweet potatoes and put them on the pan. Okay, so we have um, one large sweet potato or I used two small sweet potatoes. You want to cut them up into about just little half inch cubes here. Also have a red onion, which I Diced kind of large. I'm just going to add that onto there. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of olive oil and just drizzle it over here. Just going to kind of mix that to where it's all kind of they're all kind of coated. To sprinkle it with salt and pepper so I'm just gonna do some salt and pepper over the top here okay now we're gonna bake it at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes Um, we're going to do either, uh, I'm going to do chicken, but you could also use a 15 ounce can of chickpeas. If you're going to use chickpeas, just drain them, rinse them, pat them till they're dry. I'm using chicken today. This is about one and a half pounds, I think, of chicken that are diced, um, about half to one inch cubes. Okay, I, I have mine in a baggie here, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some spices to it. We're going to add a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, we're going to add three quarters teaspoon of chili powder. And three quarters teaspoon of garlic powder. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just going to now add a tablespoon of olive oil into the pan that I have on the stove here. I'm just going to close this up. I'm just going to mix my spices right in my bag here. If you don't have it in a bag, just put it in a bowl. I'm just going to cook this chicken until it's done. Okay, so the chicken is now done. You can see it's nicely browned. It's all done in the center. If you're going to do your chickpeas, I made some chickpeas this morning. You cook them in the same way and they're going to, until they're brown, nice and brown and, and kind of crispy. So. 
Okay, we're gonna make the sauce while we're waiting for our vegetables to finish. We're gonna start with a small clove of garlic. Just mix this in a small bowl. Then we're gonna use two tablespoons of peanut butter. Well, you wanna use creamy peanut butter for this. There's different sauces you can do. I actually put a tahini sauce on here too. On the, I'm gonna add that to the recipe. But today I'm just gonna make the peanut butter sauce, the peanut sauce. Okay, juice of one lime. Add that. A tablespoon of soy sauce. Soy sauce, a tablespoon of honey, okay. and you just use this little whisk and just whisk that together. We're going to add a tablespoon of toasted of sesame oil. And a tablespoon of olive oil. Whisk that in. it's nice and smooth. All right, there's our sauce already. So as soon as our vegetables are done, we will assemble our vegetable. Our vegetables are done. We'll go ahead and pull them out. Okay, time to assemble the bootables. So start out with, so you need a grain of some sort. I did a, I already pre-cooked my rice. I cooked some rice this morning, um, but you're gonna wanna cook some rice obviously um, before you even start. So, or some quinoa. So typically it's done with rice or quinoa. This is a wild rice mix. You're gonna put some rice in the bottom of your bowl. And you put some some of the sweet potatoes and some of the chicken or chickpeas. Then you're going to want to tie. You put it in a bowl. You're going to want to top it with additional toppings. Um, I'm going to put spinach on mine. You can put cilantro, spinach, um, avocado. I'm gonna put some avocado on mine too. Just some sliced avocado pieces. Whatever you wanna put on the top of your, of your Buddha bowl, that's just some examples. And 
and then you're going to top it with a topping with your peanut sauce or your tahini sauce. So I'll just drizzle when you're ready to eat it. You just drizzle your sauce over the top of it and it's ready to eat. Now these are bowls. You could put them in a bowl like this and then just put it in your fridge and pull it out and eat it. You can eat it cold or you can heat it up. If you're going to heat it up, don't put your spinach on in your toppings until afterwards, but you can do this as like a, a to prepare for like the week. You can do like six bowls, four to six bowls, depending on your size. Just put them in your fridge and when you get um, ready to eat them, just pull them out, add your toppings, your additional toppings and your sauce and go ahead and eat it. So it's a great way to be prepared for like make ahead meals. So give little bowls a try.